Um, everybody seemed to think after this coronavirus that we can just charge the clients outrageous prices without the quality work. And that's like going to Mac McDonald's and getting an old generic burger and they charging you $50 for a Happy Meal. You're gonna be like, what? One barber went as far to tell me that, hey man, I wanna be like Earl Elite. He's getting $100 a cut. And for y'all don't know who Earl Elite is, Earl Elite is one of the finest barbers, not in Mississippi, but in the freaking world, brother. Earl Elite has been all across seas battling, winning first place, not second place, not third, not coming running up, but first place. He's dominating every field of barbering. There it is. There he is. And yes, he has mastered the skill set of barbering, and he don't deserve just a hundred dollars. The brother really deserved more than that for the work that he be done. He's a professional, and he ain't playing no game when it comes to the quality of his work. Now, if you ain't got no integrity about your work, and you coming in there because you got a bill due, you know what I mean. You got that bill due. Now you trying to get on that client head, and you. 40. No, man. You're not doing that in my shop. No. Another beef that came up was they say I'm only charging kids $20 and I'm dictating the prices for what the kids are being charged. Yes, I am. See, when I started my salon, it was just me by myself. I'm not charging these sisters with white, black, blue, green, or yellow red or whatever color you may be. I don't give a damn if you're from Mars. I'm not finna charge a kid 10 and below $30 for a basic cut. Mm -mm. Because what you can't forget, it is the mother that is the root to our community. It is the mother that is the root to every barbershop. Yes, brother, it is. When they bring these kids in here, these kids grow up in your salon. So no, not in my, not, not in my salon. We're not charging them $30 for, uh, no, man. And then some of these guys, some of you guys, man, y'all not even putting out $30 work. You're not even putting out $40 work. Some of you guys not even putting out $15 work. Are you serious, man? Man, it got the, <laughs> we gotta be real with each other. I mean, if I'm wrong, you know, you can say what you want to say. And a lot of people say, hey, man, I'm self-employed. I'm an independent contractor, and I can charge what you want to, what I want to. You're right. You can do all that. And who am I to dictate that? And I don't dictate that. But when you come to my salon with zero clientele, zero ability to go get the clients, yeah, I'm going to dictate what you're doing because you're going to destroy my business. You know how many negative Google reviews I don't receive from people who think they independent contractors? How you self-employed? But when you was working at a regular job, you worked 40 hours a week, you was on time, you did everything that was asked of you, uh, you did it without no complaints, and you did it for $8 or $9 an hour or whatever you make. But when you come and work for yourself, you don't want to get to work at 12, then you want to get off at three. Don't come to me and ask me to make you a six figure barber and then complain when I come at you like a drill sergeant. See, nah, bro, you confused. See, it's, 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 it's not a lot of six figure businessmen in this, in this country. We make up like probably 15% of the people in this nation. So you got to work to get that six figure level, bro. If you want to charge Mr. Earl Lee prices, you got to put in that grind that he put in. And shout out to Earl, man. That's what he'll he, he amazing boss, man. But if you're trying to get that type of money, you got to put in that type of work, my friend. And when you come to my shop, you got to be professional. 
And you can go say whatever you want to say about me, but the rules and regulations I have in my salon are state board rules and regulations. 